Good morning and welcome to Sound Travels. I am Pastor Dan Walker and we are, each week we try to get a little more solo. So Pastor Bruce is watching from the, from the background. Good morning everybody on Facebook live. Uh, how you doing Mark? I see you out there. Give us a shout. 617-282-0685. This is a call-in show, and it works when people call in and talk with us. We're talking about sound travels. That's a great name for the show because that is, in fact, what sound does. So as we adjust things, you'll start to see the camera move around. And there we go. Pull the camera right in. Um, we're getting set up for a very big gospel show this weekend at New Bethel Baptist Church, the church which God has allowed me to pastor. I'm very privileged to be out there in Framingham. And uh, it's going to be a good time. We are doing something that is, I don't, I don't want to say unique because somebody has surely done it before, but we're doing it. We're bringing good old-fashioned gospel to the Framingham area uh, from 4 to 6 this Saturday uh, with um, Pastor James Funches and his praise team. Uh, the Gospel Love Tones, uh, and our very special headlining guests are the Spiritual encor uh, Encouragers. <laughs> yes, I almost said incorrigibles. Wow. <laughs> the Spiritual Encouragers. Um, just looking to see who is on, on, on joining us on Facebook Live. Anthony Malacasso, how you doing, sir? The brothers. What, are, what have I done? Okay, one of the brothers um, who's going to, who's supposed to be calling, um, supposed to be giving us a call. He's he's going to be doing some plays coming up. I know, and I want him to talk about that stuff on the air. So give us a shout uh, there, brother Anthony. Six one seven two eight two zero six eight five. And there's other numbers you can call in, which would be six one seven two eight two. 7794 and 617-265-2679. All right, so I'm going to stick with the 2820685 number because I've actually, as you can hear, committed that one to memory. Um, so our technical question for today is what do you do when you have wires running everywhere? Uh, there are those of us who are comfortable in the environment of all wires, but to everybody else, it just looks like a mess. So how is it, okay, how is, uh, how do you clean them up and how do you make them neat and that whole bit? Um, it's easy. Start hiding them. <laughs> Get them off the floors if possible. Run them up through the ceiling. We have uh, at our church. We have a drop ceiling, so hopefully Friday morning we'll be there with a bunch of ladders because I'm uh, installing a new monitor so that the people who are who are doing leading the worship can see what's going on. So we're we're literally, we're literally installing a monitor as a monitor, um, and to be able to do that, it's. Um, my, my system is essentially an HDMI sound, uh, system, but the projector that we're attempting to use has a VGA and the monitor that we'll be using as a monitor, which is a 50-inch plasma, it is also VGA. So how do, you, how do you get a VGA signal from an HDMI system? Hmm, how, how, how? Well, actually, it's quite easy. They make what's called an HDMI to VGA adapter, and that would plug into the HDMI port and output VGA. Now, what I have noticed in this is because I'm running a HDMI switch to a HDMI splitter to run the different monitors. I put the very last... Uh, output of my HDMI into the VGA adapter and that seems to work because my computer that is driving all of this is looking for some monitor to key on so since I have a DV I have a DVI monitor 
sitting next to my laptop so I can see what's being broadcast, the computer keys on the DVI as its only monitor, even though, and I have that in the first port of the HDMI, of my HDMI uh, splitter. So that when, when you power up the laptop and power up the, the system, the laptop sees my Dell DVI monitor as the first mon as its only external monitor, so it's happy. However, the video switcher is running three other, four other sources, and now it's going to hopefully be running five other sources once I get this wire in the ceiling. So that's a way to do it. And oh, how you doing? Brother Eric, give me a shout. 617-282-0685. Um, and how you doing there, uh, Skyler? Jeffrey, how you do, sir? It's good to, hear, good to see you watching. Nice to see you on Facebook there. Uh, I used to, uh, the question for, for Jeffrey, are you still playing guitar? If you are, again, give a call and, and say hi. We're supposed to have a few people calling us in this morning, and so far nobody has. Um, now, we're on Facebook Live, and there's a, there's a little controversy about uh, whether we should play music or not. Uh, some people do, some people don't. I'm going to take a chance in a few minutes. I want to play a song by the Bullock Brothers. The, actually, you know what? Since we're going to have... Uh, Pastor Funches, are you out there? If you're out there, Pastor Funches, give a call in to talk about the broadcast this weekend. Um, I mean, about the show this weekend. Pastor Funches is one of the people who will be presenting. This is a, a, a very unusual thing for Framingham because Framingham does, has not had any real gospel concerts in a very long time. And we're attempting to bring that back to the Framingham area. Good traditional gospel so that'll be happening this Saturday at 4 p.m. Um, let's see here. And let's see if I hit this button. Oh, I didn't put a mouse in my laptop today. I don't know why I didn't do that. And that's going to come in on music. Here we go. <laughs> Church 
Blaze Radio. 102.9 on your FM dial. Or BostonPraiseRadio.tv. On the inter- on the on the That's the Sons of the Bullock Brothers with Old Time Way. Um, so the answer to some of the questions I'm getting on Facebook are, yes, we are live. Yes, we're on the air. The station is 102.9 FM, and if you can't reach it from where you are, you certainly can go to bostonpraiseradio.tv, scroll down to the very first screen, where and, and uh, click on the Listen Live button, and you'll see the show. You'll see me in my all my beautiful glory here. Um, we have definitely got to do something with these. Um, all right, so I just got to relax here and get into this. Oh. Keep, talking. Keep talking, yes, no dead air. <laughs> I should know that. got a call this morning and good morning caller good morning caller are you there yes hi uh, 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 Bishop Branch how are you but uh, I can help you with the ride so push the but second button okay I just cut him off Hello, you still there? Okay, I, I still have him. It's this one. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm still here. Uh, good morning, you're on the air. So, um, we have, ladies and gentlemen, we have um, Bishop Harold Branch, we, who hopefully we're going to have the, with us this weekend at the concert. We got to work out some travel and logistics stuff. Good morning, uh, Bishop, how you doing? I'm doing good, okay. 
It's so nice to hear your voice. Uh, okay, right. I can't hardly hear you call the music kind of up, okay? <laughs> oh, let me, let me hit the music down. Hang on a second. Uh, Just stop your music. I'm going to stop my music. Hang on a second. Keep talking. Okay, I'm going right. to keep talking while I stop my music. And okay. there, we, the Lord. there we go. I'm on, okay, I'm going to try to make it if my client come in Saturday, right? Okay. And I will get back to you and I, and I will let you know because uh, I work like seven days a week, night and day. And I got a living job, you know what I mean? I understand. And if I can get somebody to come in and release me. All right. I make and get out there, but I probably need to ride back. That's no problem. We'll, you, you, we'll get you out. We, if we have to get you out there, we'll get you out there and get you back home. That's not a problem. So, okay, thank you so how, much. Long ha right, how long have you been uh, singing gospel music? Oh, I started with the Nightingales when I was 14 years old, right? And then Judas Chicks, I was single with them, right? And they needed help. They needed a hot talent. So I went down there in Birmingham. No, in Birmingham, I saw everything where the place would blow up. Like, but I was still in school, you know. I was singing with them. And I've been singing cops. I sing around about old, about 60 some years. I started when I was 12 years old. Well, how would you define your style of gospel singing? How would you define that's mm -hmm. How would you well, define I, your, your style? My style, I used to listen to Brother Joe Mays. Uh -huh. He went on by himself, right? Right. You know? and, I, and I used to sing on the street in a white robe, and people used to come and hear me sing. And then a lady used to carry me around to sing gospel, right? And then uh, she wanted me to go overseas in Jerusalem to sing, and my mother couldn't let me go over there, you know what I mean? I just started I singing when I was very small and everything. I, I ain't know nothing about the world, no drugs, no dope or anything like that. I stayed in church all of my life. <laughs> yeah, all right, so, all, so, okay, so you actually started on the street. Like on the street. Just singing with your guitar and just you? No, I didn't have the guitar. I was singing a cappella. Wow. I didn't have the music then. Okay. Know. And you know. well, when, I saw, when I first saw you, it would have to be back in the, in the 70s, you came up on stage, well, you came up to the front of the church, really, you plugged your guitar in, you set your cassette recorder down, and you put right. the, the person that was there, put the microphone in front of your cassette recorder, and you said, I got to get my band set up, y'all. Let me get my band set up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I sing there, and I do my recording in the background, and I take it to the studio, sing Lee in the background. Right. I was having a group backing me up, though, but they had started so much, though, and the Lord had fixed it and made a way for me to do the lead and the transfer and I, re and I rehearsed my background on that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and, and I was noticing that there's, uh, your style is very pure. Uh, it, it, I don't want to say, I don't like the term simple because there's nothing simple about what you do for the Lord. Uh, uh -huh. But it's very pure. It's just you, your guitar, and it seems like you're singing from your soul when you sing. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I try to put everything in what I got and everything. Mm -hmm. And who really started me, picked me up with Reverend, Reverend Creighton. He came along. Remember wow. Reverend he, Creighton? And a, a lot of people, a lot of people in the Boston area know who you're talking about. Reverend mm -hmm. Creighton. Uh, Wow, and that, Brother Wilkerson. And Brother Wilkerson, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Don Long. They're all going on home. <laughs> they've, they've gone home. Don Long was, uh -huh. uh, for those people who remember, Don Long was the morning broadcaster on the gospel radio show in AM. Uh, right. The station was I was with him, too, on the radio. You don't... You don't Pastor Wall is, is is looking at me quizzically. I'm not sure if he re, if he remembers this. We're going back a ways. The station was on Mass Ave in um, Porter Square. Just right, to, you just, were. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to go out there all the time and and kind of hang out and 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 do some things um, with with Don Long. I've never right. mm -hmm. never seen anybody work a board like him. He was phenomenal. Every time he yeah. would, yeah, he and and those that was back in the day of the rotary knob uh, mm -hmm. consoles. 
Now, and I was on that station at Polo Square about 15 minutes. I was on that station. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Brother Wilkinson, Reverend Creighton. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, so it, it, what do you think you're going to do this weekend when you get out there? Because we're going to make sure you get out there. Don't worry about that. We'll figure that part out. <laughs> I just want to lift up the name of Jesus. <laughs> well, all right. Well, all right. So, everybody, uh, ho- hopefully we'll hopefully see you out there. We're going to get started on time, people. So don't be thinking that, uh, well, he said 4 o'clock and he's going to start at, if we get there about 4.30. No, come at 3.30 and we'll have music playing in the background. You can mingle and talk. Uh, The Coalition crew is on standby, so they're going to be putting together something. They asked me, uh, well, what do we want for... um, what do we want for collations? And I said, I'm not a micromanager. <laughs> Once I've asked you to do it, just figure it out. You know, do what you think you know to do. That's that's fine with me. Okay, well, okay. So we'll All look right. forward to seeing you. And, and, and give me a call off air, and we'll work out that transportation issue. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. All okay. right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Now. Bye-bye. Bottom button. And there we go. So that was Bishop Harold Branch, who is going to be joining us at our Old Time Gospel Concert, 4 to 6. And just in case you had forgotten, right after the Old Time Gospel Concert at 6 o'clock, the youth are going to be coming on with Ignite the Night. And it is a full-on gospel praise show geared to the young people. Uh, there's D- they're going to have DJs, we'll have lights and music and... Um, well, the one thing that I was asked to do was, was could because they came by and they said, could you give us a, a little more bass? Well, that's not a problem. <laughs> Those people who know me know that giving people a little more bass is something that I am actually known for. We had, we had a situation where we had a, a person, uh, some people may know him, some people may not, uh, called Flo Ryder. Uh, and he was performing out at a amusement park in Agawam, Massachusetts, and his engineer came out to, to listen to the system and was not pleased with what he heard. Uh, so we got the call, could we, uh, Dan, could you give Flo Rider more bass? And I went, yep, this is not going to be a problem for us. <laughs> So we went out and we took uh, we added about 6,000 more watts to his low end, and uh, he loved it. He came out and he was actually on our subwoofers and came out, stood on our subwoofers out into the crowd and opened a bottle of champagne and literally sprayed the first silver rose with a whole bottle of champagne. And I thought to myself, my subwoofers oh my goodness <laughs> but luckily they didn't get damaged it was uh i used you know th- these are good old-fashioned stuff that have been around for years so the the cover didn't get damaged all right so let's see deandre from the bullock brothers hey how you doing there give us a call as feel free anybody feel free to call in at 617-282-0685 i don't See, we have a few people, hopefully, that are scheduled to call, and I haven't seen them just yet. Uh, let's see. I've, I'm not sure. I haven't gotten used to being able to type at the same time as I'm uh, at the same time as I'm broadcasting. So we're getting there in time. We're working on this Facebook Live thing, trying to to work it out in such a way and also getting comfortable with all of the buttons and the knobs and the screen and the whole bit, which for those people who know me know that this is exactly where I'm, I'm, I'm having a ball with. I, I'm, this is, this is kind of where I belong on this side of the board. <laughs> on the other side is one thing, but on this side is, is kind of where I belong, able to adjust sound and things of that nature. Um, I want to talk to you today about God's will in your life when it comes to uh, ministry and when it comes to the electronic ministry. Because I had, uh, I had uh, somebody tell me yesterday that they were just absolutely amazed at what God has been able to do in my life. And I went, okay, well, it's not so much my life that 
but it's everybody's life God is able to work in, all you have to do is be open and be available and listen to what God has told you to do. And then, in fact, do it. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with that. So it's, 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 it's real easy. Um, let's see here. I've got to stop saying um. I'm saying um too much. I just noticed that. If I were a valley person, then people would understand, but I'm not a valley person. And let's see if I have some more music that I can play while I figure out. Too dead, too dead. And cannot hinder, hinder me. The Gospel Love Tones with Ride On King Jesus. The Gospel Love Tones will be in the house on this Saturday at 4 p.m. Uh, for the old school, old time gospel concert that's happening at New Bethel Baptist Church in Framingham, Mass. It's 11 Beach Street uh, in the Framingham area. Zip code is 01702 if you're using your GPS and you're trying to find it. We're asking everybody to be there on time. This is a no-ticket concert, so don't worry about the expense. Come on out, sit down, have a good old time, and we're going to have some good old gospel music. The Love Tones are a four-part harmony group, and um, I think you're going to enjoy them. Uh, the Spiritual Encouragers are a just a traditional, full-on gospel group. Um, Harold, we talked. We heard earlier that we talked to Bishop Harold Branch, who, we, we, as long as we can work out the transportation issues, will be in attendance, and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do that. So it's going to be a good old time. Not to mention, uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Pastor James Funches and the praise team from his um, the praise team from his church will be there as well. And he was asking me just what we want to do, uh, A and B. Or I said, well, you know, praise the Lord. We hope you can do an A, B, C, D <laughs> song. So we'll see how that goes and see how, uh, what he's got. We have a call this morning. Let me pick this up here. Hit the red button. The, next one. the, ne the middle one. Yes. Middle button. Okay, start talking. Start talking. It's live. Sure your music is My music is off, definitely. Okay, caller, we, I, good morning. Good morning, Reverend Walker. How are you this morning? I'm doing well. Who do I have the pleasure of talking to? 
Well, I had the pleasure of talking to Brother Lenny Cox. Oh, my goodness, from the Spiritual yes. Encouragers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Brother Lenny Cox. I, I love it when people do things as, they're, that, as, they, as they say they're going to do. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I, the guitar I, I, player par excellence. There, Boston uh, has only two really great guitar players. Now, I've just upset a whole lot of them. And Lenny, <laughs> Brother Lenny Cox is one of those two. <laughs> Oh, God, and, and, God bless you. God, God bless you, Reverend Walker. Isn't that weird to say Reverend Walker? I mean, because how, how far back do we go? My goodness. We go back a long way. <laughs> we go back a long way. You, you've been a child of God for a long, long time. So it's just that, that title. And it's such a wonderful thing that, that you, uh, your footsteps were ordered and you followed those footsteps and that's where you are today. So that's a great, that's a great, great, wonderful thing. It is, it is a blessing. Listen, when I, I think the first time I saw you, uh, you were on stay, you were, you, uh, you, it was at 301 Columbia Road, where I, did, uh -huh. where I started a lot of my uh, gospel music. As a matter of fact, it was probably, it wasn't the first place I did a gospel show. The first place I did a gospel show was Otisfield Street. Uh, oh, 15 Otisfield Street. Yes. Mount, Mount, it's Mount Calvary. Mount Church. Calvary Baptist Church. It was Hezekiah Walker. Uh, oh yeah. Yes, yeah. but I think I saw you at three hundred one, and we, I was setting up for the show, and I had all this equipment going, and the people were staring at me because they had this full, full, this huge rock three-way sound system with speakers everywhere, and the, <laughs> the pastor came out and said, "Do we really need all this stuff?" <laughs> and you were sitting in the background. And you were just picking some notes, and I'm listening to you. And if I, I, I don't want to say it was Freebird, but it was definitely some '70s rock person. And you were just picking away, and I, I, I walked over and I said, "I recognize those riffs, man." <laughs> <laughs> and you started laughing. It's like, yes. So I told well, you what who they were. Yeah. How, yeah what? It's go ahead. Probably something I. It's probably something I had, I had heard before. I. I uh, I play a lot, like like most mus musicians. When you hear something good, you try to go home and you analyze it and play around with it and you put your own version to it. But it but it stays in your memory, it stays in your mind. So that that's what makes you be yourself better. It's when you take what you're you're surrounded by that goes into your musical ear. Who are some of your influences? Oh, I I, I tell you, I, I've been listening uh, lately within the last couple of years. I've I've uh, I've been listening to some old Rosetta Tharp. Oh I, my goodness! Yes, I think I yes. Think Rosetta Tharp was a tremendous, tremendous. She guitar was amazing. Guitar. She'd yes, get she on was. the stage with just her guitar, and yeah. sometimes her family was with her, and sometimes not. And she wouldn't be soft and and, and just picking. She would be banging on that thing, and yeah, just yeah. really hitting it, and just belting out. My oh, I love her. <laughs> yeah, she was a tremendous, tremendous guitarist. Yeah, and and sometimes you don't hear a lot of her stuff, but I think if more people heard what she did, that they would they would really put her in a very, very high category of, and of guitars. She was gifted. She and, was and very she was gifted. Talented. She was blessed, and, and she and was. She used, she used that. She used that that gift that she had. And that's one of the most important things. Well, and in also one of the things that she did was she was a trailblazer without even thinking about it. A, mm -hmm. a, a black woman on stage with a guitar, yeah, singing. And like I said, she was. It's not that she wasn't sing Amazing Grace. She was singing Amazing Grace as if she was singing in a concert hall. Just absolutely, just full voice. I, I yes, I'm glad you mentioned her. Wow, I, I and, I, and it wasn't it, it wasn't a lot of female guitars. Not at all in those days at all. I mean, you know, it, I guess women kind of stayed away from the guitars and the electric basses and and uh, and things like now. And, and well, now, now these days, we, yeah, now we have a lot of female. Oh yeah, guitars. now it's no big deal. I mean, obviously, Princess in the Revolution, Wendy. Uh, was Prince's guitar player when she uh, when when he was used, working with the Revolution? So, yeah, female, she was great. Yeah, 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 female guitar player Susie Quattro uh, with the bass. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, it's, now it's no big deal. But right, back right. then, my goodness! And then the fact that she, it was it was just untouched. It was pure 
I, I loved it. it I, I, it's hard to say because now everything is mastered and remastered and overdubbed yeah. and that whole bit. And it was just her voice and her guitar just ringing out. Yeah, and it, and it wasn't a lot of effects. Back oh, no. Days. Oh, no, no, no. You, you know, created just, your effects. Yeah, it was straight <laughs> amp and straight guitar. And that was it. Maybe and raw, in, raw talent. Right. If you had a Fender chorus or a Fender twin reverb, you could kind of get a little reverb action going. But other than that, you had yeah. to bend that string the way you wanted it. <laughs> There you go. Which is what there you, you do. I, 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 was list, I remember listening, because sometimes uh, the smart players will give you a little head, and they'll say, go on, Lenny, do that thing. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the Hendrix comes out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's probably something I heard. It had to be something that I heard. And I said, oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put this right in here and see how this works. It works. It works out fine. I could just imagine what would happen. I said this to you when we spoke Uh Lenny Cox and Larry Waters <laughs> oh, Larry. on stage. Now, this is Hendrix meet Clapton for the modern age. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, Larry Waters, that's, that's my dear friend and my brother. I, I love him. I love him dearly. And he's a great, great, greatly talented musician. I, I, I just love the way he plays. And he, we, we played together and sang together for uh, a couple years, I guess, years ago. With the old, with the older God Squad. Uh huh. As a matter of fact, he he was there, and his brother Russell played the bass. So it was it was a uh, it, it was it was myself and Larry, and Russell, and I think Mike Collins played the drums. You know, we had we had a nice set. We had a nice set. Right, y'all y'all had a sound that would turn goat wee wee to gasoline. That's what there it was. There you go. Now that's, that's saying something. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like I I just uh, see for me when people when I'm when I'm by myself and if I'm feeling down uh, I put on all sorts of different things and one of the sure. things I really like is good old fashioned gospel music. Yeah, uh, I do. I do the same. So okay, you're with the Spiritual Encouragers now. Talk to me a, yeah. a little bit about that because you guys are going to be up this weekend. You guys are the headlining group, and uh, we're going to have a good old time. We hope we hope to give you guys a, a good. A good time to do uh, some good time to do your music and the whole bit. So talk about that. Okay, yeah, we'll just be glad to be there. That'd be a wonderful, wonderful thing. Like I say, I, I feel very, I'm, I'm very impressed and honored that Reverend Dan Walker would think about us, old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's a wonderful thing. I've been knowing you, like I say, for a long, long time. It has been a long and, time. Uh, I guess about four years ago, approximately four years ago. Uh, I was with the God Squad, but there was a time for departure there, so we we, we kind of separated our ways right then. And uh, not too long after that, uh, myself and and a few other gentlemen got together and 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 we started another group, uh, which became the Spiritual Encouragers, and it includes Brother Mac Brody, Brother Ted Daly. Uh, we have uh, Brother Sylvester Charlie is with us. He used to be with the old God Squad. I know you 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 remember Sylvester. Oh my goodness, yes, I remember. Yeah. See, uh, th this is the thing about me and all these different groups. I remember the God Squad. I, as a matter of fact, it was one of the first groups that I started doing a regular work for. Was the God yeah. Squad, and uh, we just send our prayers out to Willie James. Uh, yeah. And for a speedy recovery, and we hope to see you back out there ministering. In the name of Jesus, uh, we hope to see you out there soon. So yeah. yes, uh, yeah. you know, God, you know, the power of God is is able to overcome every obstacle. And absolutely, and as far as I'm concerned, I don't care. Just get out there and do what you can do, man. The Lord is with you. That's it. That's it. That's it. We have Brother Albert Vine, Cornell Hodges. You probably know him, and Leroy Smith. That we got those. Uh, we got together with with those gentlemen and. Uh, and the Lord called my mom home about three years ago. I'm sorry to and, hear that. And uh, before before He called her home, she I was I was downstairs one day in her in her apartment in, in her house down here, and she she knew we had we had started a new group. So to make a long story short, she said she said to me, she said, Lenny, she said, what do you think about the encouragers? Because that's what you that's what you all do, and uh, so I. I, uh, I told the guys in the group, everybody loved the name, and we just put the title on it, the Spiritual Encouragers, and so my mother gave us the name of this group. 
Amen. And that's what the name would always be. And we try to live up to that name. We try to encourage folks to uh, you stay with the Lord and recognize that he is still God, no Amen. matter what. Yeah, yeah. So that's came that's down, what we do. Y'all came down to uh, Dudley. There was a year that the Lord impressed upon my heart to go out and bring the and bring the ministry to Dudley Square, right across the the tea, uh, the tea station. I so remember for the whole month of August, every Saturday, every Sunday, from I think it was four to six, and y'all came out, and I had tents set up, and I had a generator running in the background, and. Y'all came out, and y'all had a crowd. When you started singing, y'all got a crowd real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. We enjoyed that. That was wonderful. Yeah, I, 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 I'm all about outside. Everybody who knows me knows I love going outside. Hi, pa yeah. hi Sister Sandra. Uh, I haven't let you all know this, but Sister Sandra Cor Stevens is going to be the hostess with the mostess. For the for the gospel segment, uh, so we're looking forward to see her. Uh, yeah, Eric Bromley says no sound. Let me see. Why can't we hear any sound? Is there something going on here? Um, all right. Well, check Eric. Check your check your uh, check your phone. Turn the phone up because I think everybody else is hearing sound. We're gonna check it outside uh, just to be sure that everything is going well. Um, and let's see, Robin. Wow. Hey, Robin, how you do? Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, Seth. Yes, Seth, you're supposed to call me. You got sound, okay. Uh, Seth, you're supposed to give me a call last week. Maybe you can call me this week. 617-282-0685. We are talking with the great guitarist, one of Boston's premier guitarist, Lenny Cox of the Spiritual Encouragers. So, Lenny, uh, yes. you play guitar... And you you sing too. I've heard you sing a little bit. You gonna be singing this weekend? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be trying. I'll be whatever it is. I'll be putting it out there. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. The, some of the groups that you you've sung with a lot of different groups. You know, uh, and God has kept you faithful through all this time, and now He's got you ministering in this in this new vineyard here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love it. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been playing for quite a while, and as a matter of fact, around here in Boston, years ago, it's, it's, it's a few old groups that I started out playing for. I, I don't know if you know Reverend Creighton from. Of course. Uh, yeah, Reverend, Reverend Creighton. Well, years ago, when he was he was young and his sisters sang together, they were called the Creighton Singers. Right. Uh, Harold uh, Branch uh, was just talking about that. Her Reverend Creighton's the one that gave him his start. His start. We're hoping, uh, yeah, we're, we're yeah. hoping that Harold uh, Bishop Harold Branch uh, joins us this weekend as well, and he was That'd he be wonderful, and he yeah. and he mentioned the Cratons as well. So you see, legacies yeah. continue, man. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. On the old WIOD, I think Reverend Creighton was there, uh, among other uh, we're other. Right uh, that. So uh, it's, it's, it's it's real easy. Um, continue, man. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. I did. Yeah, they do. I did. On the old WIOD, I think. I don't know how to stop it. Among other. It's real easy. Okay. What did I do? I just. You there? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I, it was me. I'm, as I said, this is live, and I'm just learn. I'm trying to learn how to get this done right. So I just. Oh, that. okay. So continue. Um, oh yeah. So you were saying that Reverend Creighton got you started. How old were you when you first started playing the guitar? I might have been around. I'd, I'd say I was. I was. I was still in in school. I was in high school. I would say about seventeen, maybe, or something like that. It was an old group around here in Boston called the Disciples. Uh huh. And. Uh, I was the youngest fellow in that group, and and a young man, uh, you know, he he saw my interest in the guitar, and uh, he he just started me being interested to uh, to play the guitar. And another quick story that that I always I, that, that I always talk about that that is probably I think everybody has experienced something like this. But when I was I was young, I wanted to be in the gospel singing group, so a, a few of us got together and we began to sing, and uh, we didn't have a musician. And so we we wanted to have a guitar player. So we saved our lunch money from school, and we bought a little cheap guitar amp and a little cheap guitar, 
And then we met this this fella from uh, from Cleveland, Ohio. I never forget. And he played guitar, so we were all excited. So we have him at rehearsal. He came to rehearsal and rehearsed with us a few times. So one day he came in and he said, "Fellas, I would love to if I can just take this guitar and amplify it home, and I can practice on some of this stuff. And when we get together again, I'll know all the songs and everything." And so we agreed to do that. And uh, he took the guitar home, and 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 uh, I just haven't seen him up until today, Reverend Dan. <laughs> Yes, yeah. you. We all. We yeah. Well, he. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? It's good to see you. Graham, Lindsay, it's good to see you on Facebook. We have all been there. Yeah. He's from Graham. Is from Scotland. Is listening to us in Scotland. A shout out to Scotland. Yeah. And 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 my Scott Irish heritage is now is now for all the world to see. And you mentioned Cleveland. Those of you who know know that is where I am from. So we know oh, that. I'm, yeah. So I was, I, I grew up in Akron, Ohio. My mother is living in Akron, Ohio now. I'm back and oh. forth to Cleveland, Akron, two three times a year. Oh and my goodness! I'm yeah. from Cleveland. I did not know that. We both from. Yeah. See, that's why you're plain speaking. That's why I like you because we're Midwesterners and we say what's on our mind. If you yeah, I lived in North. I lived in North Akron. Sure did. Yeah, I grew up in North Akron. Yeah. Okay, so the, yeah, the the sound is working there, brother. Uh, I just I just heard it in the background. So the other. So the is, young man. Yeah. So the young man never showed up. He never showed up anymore. And that was uh, uh, that was good and bad. It was good because. At that moment, I decided that I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to learn how to play this guitar, and I'll never, ever have to worry about a guitar player again. Right. So it, it was that was just a part of of what was uh what, what was good for me, I guess. It was it was uh it led me in that direction. So I've been trying to play a little bit ever since. See, this is what happens. You know, we, we think that things are happening in our life, and we think that they're bad. But God has a right. purpose and a reason for everything. And I guarantee you that person that stole that guitar never did a, never did a thing with yeah. it. Yeah, I, 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 think somewhere, I think somewhere in the Word it says things that are meant uh, for the bad, things that happen for the bad, God turns them around and makes them for the good. Exactly right. And see this, and, and you're absolutely right. And this is where some of that, some of that people got that misguided, uh, it's all good from. No, yeah. no, no, no. Don't take scripture and twist it into something just because it sounds good. Exactly. What God has what the devil means for evil. God turns it to good all the time. That's it. Our That's test it. becomes a testimony, but don't get it twisted. It yeah. ain't all good. <laughs> that's it that's when, right. yeah when david i'm uh, not david um when people in the bible were persecuted i guarantee you they will say it it wasn't good while they were being persecuted oh absolutely you not know? yeah when joseph's yeah. brother sold him into sa slavery and put him in the pit and he has to go through all that stuff joseph would not sit there and go oh man it's a, yeah you know i'm in this pit but it's all good no. Yeah, what a great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a great pit I'm in right now, you know. I know it. I know it. <laughs> it's all good. No, don't yeah. even go there. Please, please, please. But that please. that becomes that becomes that becomes uh flesh orientated too. That's the flesh. You know what I mean? That's yes. But our spiritual our spiritual part will be all good. Exactly. Because yeah, yeah. as long as we are working this out, you know, one of the things that uh, my when I was talking with my mother, and I hope she's doing well. A shout out to my mom. I was I, I thought yeah. I would get a chance to hear from her this morning, but she, uh, we just want to send prayers out to her. There's something going on with her respiratory thing that uh, we're not that I'm, we're not comfortable with. We have uh, to pray for her. We yeah, pray, we'll pray. Well, we're going to pray for everybody in a few minutes. We're coming up on on uh 850 and usually by 855 we have to we have to start our prayers so right, keep, right. Keep, we'll, we'll, we'll keep we'll keep that in place so the other thing is uh the spiritual encouragers do you have any other shows coming up after this one we have a few anniversaries i, I don't know the exact days but some things we do uh we do annually all the time okay so i just have so, to get in the book Right, so give us a call when these when you have those events. We'll go ahead and promote them for you. Put them out there. Absolutely, thank you, know. you so much, Reverend. Oh, oh, no, no, no problem. So you are playing guitar and you're singing and you're worshiping and you're doing th and you started this at a very young age. And because somebody stole your guitar, you know, Roy Clark, the <laughs> great, 
He, oh, Roy I Cl- love Roy. I oh. love Roy Clark. Yes. Oh, yeah. Don't don't let us forget uh, the Sunday following you guys on on the twenty eighth. We're going to have a good old country western uh, singing sing, singing time with some bar- good barbecue music, uh, good barbecue food and music with oh yeah Pastor Jay Widom at the New Bethel Baptist Church. Come on out. And I've already spoken to our deacon. Deacon Horn is a fantastic uh, grill master. And I'm not a big chicken person. Everybody knows me, knows that Dan doesn't eat that much chicken. Um, I'm sorry. Y'all can pull my card if you want to. I just... I just don't eat that much chicken. I'm not going to starve if that's all you have. I will smile and I'll politely eat it, but I'm not a big chicken person. But <laughs> but uh, uh, Deacon uh, Horn, he barbecued some chicken. And oh, my goodness. I, I, was, I, I had some. I was like, wow, this is good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So maybe if he'd been cooking chicken, I might have liked it more. <laughs> yeah, so we're yeah. gonna, so we're gonna have some good old barbecue and some good old country mess. And and uh, Pastor Jay is a singing cowboy. He just oh, has, I love it. Yeah, he just has his guitar and his music, and it's gonna be a good old time. Kind of laid back. It won't be the full on. Uh, blast in your face event that we're going to have with uh with the gospel folk but i think it's going to be a good old time so come on out that's yeah. the following sunday we're on saturday with you guys but the, his events the following sunday uh what else we got up on the screen here oh oh that's what i was going to ask you that's what i'm going to ask you um have you been listening to some of the new gospel and some of the new things and what do you think about where the music is headed right now I, I absolutely I I I love some of the new music because it it just ventures out into uh, our instruments and uh, you know right we praise the Bible says to praise God with the strings and the horns and the flute just praise Him and and with our voices so yeah I'm, I I love some of the so you guitar player and a preacher now I love it uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I just love praise. We should. I love praising the Lord with all that we have, and, Amen. and we think we think back about how uh, how David played the harp. Right, right. And 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 it, uh, so, you know, it soothed King Saul. He'd call for David when when King Saul was troubled. He would yeah. call for David to play the harp, and David playing the harp would soothe the the uh, King Saul. Yeah, it's it, yeah, you know, yeah, it's amazing. Well, you know, at, at at one point we would we would talk about oh that's jazz, oh that's rock and roll, oh that's But it's all music, and if you praise God with it, it's all for the good. Amen. So listen, we got uh, two, well, one minute before we have to start. What, what's our time frame? 57 or 57? Okay, so we, we're, 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 we're winding down. I have, okay. to keep, I have to keep on track. Uh, sure. how, how, all you Facebook people out there, good morning, good morning. Um, uh, let's see, Facebook Live, we had a pretty good following on this. It's so good to hear. We're on the phone now with... Guitar player extraordinaire Lenny Cox of the Spiritual Encouragers are going to be in the house on this Saturday at 4 p.m. at New Bethel Baptist Church, Framingham, Mass. 0201702. Uh, it's 11 Beat Street. Come on out. Uh, there is no cover charge. There is no ticket price. So just come on out and. Be ready to be blessed. It would be nice if you brought an offering because I'm pretty sure that they're going to take up an offering. I'm just saying that might happen, maybe, kind of, I don't know. But there is no ticket price. So come on out. You're going to have a good old time. We one have minute. one minute to go or to pray or to what? One minute to station ID. One minute to station ID. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you've said and you've done and you've allowed us to do. We thank you for the talented people. We thank you for our brother Lenny Cox and the spiritual encouragers. We ask now that you, you we're gone? Oh, we ask now that uh, you continue to bless us and to bless our events and to bless our efforts in your name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Keep talking. Okay. Something happened here. Well, you turn off the speaker. Okay. Because when you turn off the speaker, Facebook went dead. <laughs> 
they can still hear me. Okay. I, hi, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Shannon. Amen. Oh, thank you, Shannon, for saying amen. I appreciate that. 20 seconds. And join us next week for Sound Travels, 8 a.m. Bye-bye. have been listening to WBPG LP 102.9 FM radio. We are located at 670 Washington Street in Dorchester, Massachusetts, zip code 02124. Our phone number is 617-282-0685. This concludes our broadcast day. We will be back on the air at 2 a.m. to minister and spend time with you. Be blessed and be a blessing. When you're up Oh.